Good day everyone. My name is Patrick A. Distaho from Barangay Tupas, Prieto Diaz, Sorsogon. Taking Bachelor in Agricultural Technology at Sorsogon State University, Castilla Campus. Honestly, I don't really want to take agriculture as a college course. But I didn't pass the exam way back in August 2020. I don't I don't want to stop studying, but we don't have enough money for me to go a private school. I heard that the Sorsogon State University Castilla campus still has slots available. So I decided to grab the opportunity to take a slot to continue my studies. At first, it was difficult because I didn't like the course. But as time went on, I gradually liked it. And now I'm happy with it because I already know a lot about agriculture. Based on my perception or understanding of ruminant animals, those are the mammal animals that are herbivores. Some of these we benefit from it our daily lives in terms of food, labor, and so on. It usually eat grass, which they, they only see around them or is fed to them by their owner. Like I said earlier that they are herbivores. So this is how they eat. So. What are the similarities and differences between ruminant animals compared to other animals? The simplest example to understand the similarities and differences between ruminant and non-ruminant animals is the, the structure of their digestive system. In terms of similarity, both ruminant and non-ruminant animals have a complete digestive system. But if we talk about the differences, Ruminant animals have something different in their stomach, and that is their complex, complex structure compared to the simple structure that we see in non-ruminant animals. So, how climate change affect ruminant animals? Climate change has a negative impact on ruminant animals' health and quality of their produce. Ruminants are sensitive to changing weather. Their bodies are not able to adapt to the changes in the, in the weather, which results in them getting diseases and worse, they even die. For example, goats are one ruminant animal. They are afraid of rain and are not accustomed to very hot weather. They live well at their usual temperature. When it rains, the goats often suffer from diseases. When they experience extreme heat, they get heat stress. This is due to their body's inability to adapt quickly to temperature changes due to their habitual temperature. Another example is that produced by ruminant animals. Oh, how, what, what is they can produce? Like meat and milk. Because of the changing weather, the product may become low in quality. The strategies I can think of to mitigate its impact to prevent loss of production are numerous. Like, like if you are a small owner of ruminant animals, you can create a facility where they will be housed if they are already experiencing climate change. Make sure that the facility has an adequate temperature and it should be suitable for the normal temperature of the ruminant animals. So, in that way, they can reduce the possible loss of production of ruminant animals. So, that's all. Thank you.